Coast Nation, San Bonan, and welcome back to Football Trends with me, Okupi. Now, on today's video of Fate 2, obviously, I'm bringing you some of the latest KZ Chiefs news updates. But of course, before Nje, let more into the details. If you enjoy a little favor, please do make sure to like the video. And also, if this is your first time here seeing Football Trends with Kupi, you can just uh, subscribe to the channel. And also, click the bell notification so that next time when I post a new video, you get notified. Now, to be honest, for Fate 2, hey, I'm going to be playing because I'm sitting here at home and thinking good. Hey, but anyways it's fine Tina we have lifted uh 15 cups of the mtn8 so it's nothing much it's nothing big as it but anyways it's, it would have been nice it would have been nice with this energy so rich about my 20 but i'm just here to give you some updates for free too and uh, i'm happy to say uguti kaiser chiefs they will be going to Botswana for a pre-season and this was confirmed by Ujesika Mtawonga as she said Uguti we are looking forward to the new season with us having the fixture starting in September we have a number of friendlies we will announce that are coming up for us I can't say we will be in Botswana at the end of the month so now it looks like Keiza Chiefs they will be going to uh, Botswana and going to play the team they are spectacular before uh, you guys know it uh, we were being led by Omle Fenteki which we got beaten uh, I think 1-0 by the former Orlando Paris player I'm not going to mention his name but you guys know him and I'm happy Uguti this time around it looks like KZ Chiefs are not going to be secretive in terms of Uguti who are they going to play and how are they going to play so let's hope Uguti is not just an announcement and then later on uh, I was still really to just like in, in Turkey because in Turkey we did not see anything in terms of Uti Abafana. How did they play? Uh, in into Nisa, you know, in terms of that. But I'm happy Uti this time around. They said they will announce. So I'm hoping Uti Makfiga Lelo Langalelo they announce Bangalala Ngati JNJ. So at least if we are not focusing uh, on the MTN8, actually the cup games, the competition cup games, obviously we can focus elsewhere. At least guys, at least if we are not focusing uh, on the cup competition games, at least we're going to be focusing uh, Wamanyama games, those friendly matches. I'm hoping they play about four, five, six matches. At least that will uh, give us something in terms of it's okay. We can see where, where we are going because last we've seen some good progress but also we've seen some uh a lot a lot of mistakes but this time around at least we're going to be focusing on township rollers and we know we know but we played e township rollers and they did beat us but i understand i understand it was a last minute thing but that's one thing i know uh, we don't have to look down on them because currently as i'm speaking with you from the Botswana premier league uh, township rollers is currently sitting on number two and in terms of former points they are on 66 points uh, they played just 30 matches and taking a look at our goal difference it looks like Bona they have more goals than any other team currently La Pana Botswana premier league so it looks like we're gonna have a tough match it's gonna be a tough match because definitely uh Abadlal, they are not playing the township rollers and the head coach head coach uh, innocent morabedi i believe he's the head coach currently as he took over from that other guy was a international and kamalake but yeah i'm hoping with this time around maybe we can you know at least this but shy about my two two nil two one but we, we will see. We will see with him what has coach been cooking because currently we know Guti. Uh, they've started training. At least we've signed a few players. We have Rashwin Dotli. Uh, we have Ophia Kentwari. Bonganisem Ngengembali that much because currently he's injured. It's a situation that we've seen with the previous game. Guti, we definitely need a good quality left back. Someone we're going to rely to. But at least uh, I see Guti is going to be progress because I remember coach said Guti, uh, I don't have uh, quality players. 
I'm just going to give it to the young players. Then Babo and Wutu Banda And then when it comes to Township Rollers Buffet 2, I don't want to lie to you. I don't have much because, as you know, uh, they play. They play Botswana, Botswana Premier League. And uh, we, we don't get to watch some of their games because it's another country. So uh, the only thing that we do see is some of the highlights. And in Timang Zamu, we check the team as I'm going to assess and analyze and here, there, and there. I've seen, I've seen it okay in terms of the style of play, Sabo. Uh, they have that high press, obviously, by apply pressure and a good top opposition here, too. And they have the wing play, they, they are very good in utilizing uh, Ama Wings Wabo so that they can stretch a uh, defense here to work on a joke. Shama crosses into the box, uh, they are quick. They are quick in terms of our counter attacks, but for they have more counter attacks than we do currently because we know we know that's something we are lacking. And then technically, uh, I do say Uti individually, uh, they, they they have the skills, you know, they have the skills Uti Bakone or break it defense, and they maintain a ball position almost at all time. They maintain a ball position, and then defense. Uh, I've seen Uti they they mostly use the low block. But Konuk defend and they deep on their own half and by limiting their spaces say to for Uti Singa Konuk take a gathe but not too bad and the shape the shape yeah well, they keep Ama players close so that we cannot be able to penetrate and you know currently we are still struggling we are still struggling with that to penetrate and they are counter attacking when we are counter attacking Tina they they like to absorb a pressure. And then quickly, but at the and win. They also have uh, good quality players. And in terms of defense in the corner, uh, they, they back on, back on destroy. Even I'm a set pieces way too. I think they don't work most of the time. So it's going to be a problem, but I'm hoping with he, uh, under the new coach, definitely he's going to come up with something because he can coach now. But for two, uh, his support is the only thing that he needs. And I'm giving him full support. In terms of what he is going to do, so I'm hoping I'm going to this time around uh, when we play, uh, like at least six score our goals, even if it's a loser, but at least this is score our goals. But okay, we are trying to fix those mistakes. And move I'm hoping with the uh, Ubong and the will be available by then because I remember in Jaria it was about two weeks or three weeks, so two weeks ah, come on, you say, if you say, Pelile by that time my when they travel to Ibutuana. So yeah, I think that's it. That's it Mbogeli. Anyways, you can let me know what to wear down in the comment section below. What are you expecting? What are your expectations in terms of this match against the township rollers? They are good. They are good. Currently sitting at number two Ulog table. So we need to go there and fight. Also I think I'm expecting a lot in terms of the players that we currently have because come on Buffet too we we need to show the hunger. For the game we need to show the hunger for the game uh i i think it's too early to judge because of your slow coach uh, they've only played a few games they don't have a total of 10 games so it's it's too early it's too early to judge uh the players and also the coach individually we need to uh, give them some bit of a time and it's born with the unit that was an improver going forward and i'm hoping i'm hoping with the lineup with you a lot can change. A lot can change. Uh, this guy, this guy, uh, we blamed him a lot, but I don't think he was that much of a fault. So I am still going to give him some chance. And then we we take a look at here. Uh, I'm not too sure about him. I think Milibam Keeper, sub him, and then we get in uh, Orashwin Dotli. Given him Suma on I is too comfortable. Uh, there's no player there's no player that can replace him so if we had that player who can also play here gladly i'm not just saying with any player a player who can play that in the right definitely we would uh introduce you know that player so that um smile can see with him like such and then i'm happy with this boy uh, when he's playing this side when he's playing this side i'm very happy with him and then uh or we should to praise to praise buffet to to be honest i believe he's supposed to play here to praise plays better when he's playing here to be honest so him playing left wing i don't think that 
I, I don't think he's giving us much. I don't think he's giving us much. He's not even comfortable. You can see Uti, he's not comfortable. He was just playing because maybe there were coaches in trust instructions, but he was not comfortable. And then Uranga Shivaviro, I, I still believe in this guy. Net Dinji in Tashotanga is supply. Namanji, same thing. He still needs good supply. Magatoni supply umji taba fit a shy spansaki. A shy spansaki. But anyways, uh, we will do a proper lineup prediction for the clash as soon as I have the proper dates and everything. And then it's going to be from there. I believe this is it. Thank you so much for watching until the end. But for you too, I will see you soon with something new.